After completing setup, you should have a green checkbox with the word connected next to your QuickBooks icon. And this will propagate changes across your Katana dashboard. Those changes will take place on the cell screen and the buy screen. In the cell screen, what you'll see here is a new column that's called invoice. And on this column, you'll see a status of an invoice as it's related to a sales order. You'll also see a drop down menu for items or sales orders that don't have invoices where you can then choose to create an invoice. That create invoice option is also available inside of the sales order itself. So if you need to work inside of a document, you can do it right here inside of the sales order. Now for the buy screen, for purchasing or purchase orders, you'll also have a new column that's called bill, which will provide a link to a bill that's been created in QuickBooks. Or if you don't have an associated bill tied to the purchase order, you can then create one here in the same way that the uh, invoice function works. Inside of the PO itself, that option is also equally available. For outsource purchase orders, the same applies. You have a bill with the option to create one, and that option is equally available inside of the outsource purchase order itself. Now, when you're actually doing the process for creating an invoice, it'll look somewhat like this. Choose the drop down, generate create invoice. In the background, it starts working. And then it will update and say, an invoice has been created and a hyperlink, which is linked to the sales order, has been established. So once I choose this link, it will then go into my QuickBooks dashboard where I can then see exactly what does my QuickBooks invoice look like. Customer, customer email, billing address, the items with the price, including the tax that we mapped earlier in the setup process, and the total balance due. You can make any edits you need to this invoice, save it, and send it. No big deal. For the purchase orders, works exactly the same way. You can generate or create a bill directly from this screen. And in the background, it creates a bill, generates a hyperlink directly to QuickBooks, where you can then view that specific bill that's tied to that purchase order. And there, you'll also see information about the supplier, the items, as well as the totals associated with the purchase order. Now, when it comes to the workflow for any of the use cases where you are doing in, uh, accounting with inventory, when we discussed earlier during the setup process, what does it mean that your inventory balance, which we've mapped during the setup process, will drop by the value that's being sent out whenever a sales order is delivered? And that basically applies to any of these sales orders with their delivery status being adjusted to delivered. This would also apply to some that are delivered, but also those are that are fully delivered. For simplicity, we'll just select that. Oh, this is probably not a good example here. I'll go ahead and deliver this one instead. Associate that with some batch numbers and then send that one out, Boom, just like so. So all of the sales orders that are listed as done, that are delivered here, Whatever the value of the products that are being shipped out are, will reduce from your inventory account and will be added to your cost of goods sold account. So that information will be made available on your income statement at the end of your accounting period. That is the overall uh, overview of our Katana and QuickBooks integration. Hopefully that will give you everything you need to get set up for success in using Katana with QuickBooks.